I hear from a lot of people that um, they can't seem to make any headway on on their plan of action. And usually what we find is that there are three main culprits that create resistance to getting those things done. Um, what we find, and I'm, I'm actually going to use this some material that I read out of a great book called uh, The Art of Nonconformity by, Kiss, uh, by Chris um, Gillibill. Uh, three things. The first one, time wasters. So time wasters are simply tasks that you should not be doing. They don't give you an overall benefit to your life. Okay, we all will know what those are. You know, maybe it's coming down to um, answering endless emails that uh, have no real business purpose for you, or getting on your browsers and uh, just looking at websites and find out that an hour has passed. Okay, those are time wasters. Things that really aren't of value that you think you should do versus what really serve your overall purpose. So that's one. The second one is time consumers. So time consumers are things that you do need to be working on, but you're taking too much time doing it. You're not working effectively. You know, maybe it's something where you could delegate part of that task to somebody else or find a more productive way to get it done. So the time consumer, we just want to take it and say, how do we shrink it down to get the most effective piece out of it? You know, maybe we imply, uh, or employ Parkinson's rule, which is um, give yourself narrow deadlines because you will produce better results more quickly if you're under pressure to get them done. So time consumers. Um, another one that takes up um, energy away from what you're doing. The last one is, I'm just going to call it lack of empowerment. And so lack of empowerment is your unwillingness to give things to other people off your plate so that you can get more things done that are of primary purpose to you. Um, a good example I use with a lot of my clients is bookkeeping. Why do we spend so many hours doing our own bookkeeping when we could hire someone at a fraction of our rate and have you know have that offloaded and done by someone who's really skilled at it and we focus more on what we're really good at. You know, a rule I've heard with a lot of people is if you're in sm you're a small business owner, you need to be making at least 125 bucks an hour just to stay in business. Well, if I can hire a bookkeeper for $50 an hour and then I can go work at 125 an hour or above on something else more significant, just do the math. You get the return. The, the biggest dis disadvantage that people have is they think, oh, I, I hired the bookkeeper, but the savings in those hours, they're really not using at their maximum value. Maybe they fritter away that on things that are unimportant. So the, only, the answer to that is, do you have a strategic plan that is truly represent representative and in alignment with your overall dream of life? And if it is, you won't be wasting that time on anything.